day 29. Hello to anyone that is new to my channel. My name is Gina. Um, I'm in the middle of gratitude document, or I'm at the end of gratitude document, I should say, a project for Illustrated Faith, where each day I have been coming on and doing a little process video of a card and talking about the prompt in the scripture with a tiny little Bible study. Um, and not only has it just blessed like my socks off, um, it is such a great way to really dig into scripture, even if it's just one scripture a day. Um, I try to Bible study every single day. And when you're focused on something and when you're turning around and trying to share, you know, your takeaways from it, it makes you dig in a little bit more. So whether you're sharing like on Instagram or Facebook or with your family, um, I would encourage you to do it. Like even if you sit down like with a husband or a child at night or a friend and you say, hey, this is what I worked on today. And, you know, this is what I learned. It's it's just building your faith and building your relationship with God and uh, I cannot express like how powerful that's been for me this month, which I'm sure is exactly what Shauna Noel was thinking when she created Gratitude Documented. Here we're in the holiday season and it's just a way for us to get into the Bible just for a little bit. You know, even if you're doing your own little Bible study, it's one scripture a day. It's being thankful for something and giving glory to God. So fantastic. Um, my gardener friends are across the street. So if you hear a blower or a lawnmower, that's them. I'm going to keep going. And as you can see, I'm back in my brother's uh, shirt. It's in my craft room. <laughs> so I'm not like, I, I have nice clothing, just so you know. I just like to wear certain things when I'm just crafting or doing things all day. And I had to bring in a black band-aid because, you know, I've been sick. And when my body starts to fall apart, my hands just go. Like, it's even worse than the rest of the time. So, okay, enough with all that. Let's talk Brave Hope. Good goodness. <laughs> okay, so our focus verse for Brave Hope is 2 Timothy 1, 7, um, and it reads, for the spirit God gave us does not make us timid, but gives us power, love, and self-discipline. Amen. This is Paul talking to his son in faith or writing to his son in faith while he's in prison, knowing there's a 99% chance he's never going to see Timothy again. And it's such a powerful letter. Um, I can't imagine like writing to someone that I consider a child, knowing that, hey, I'm in prison. They're probably going to, you know, they're going to kill me. It's not even a probably. It's going to happen. And trying to get out the most important stuff in the history of the world. Like, it's just, it's wild. Um, so Paul's someone that I want to sit down with and talk to in heaven. I just think, I can't imagine all the other stories he has. But anyways, um, he's imparting this information to Timothy. And, and it's essentially a handbook for Christian living or Christian life. And I wish that I came up with that, but that's my Jesus Bible. <laughs> I came up with that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, it says, like, we have this little commentary in this Bible. And it has literally says, handbook for the Christian life. I'm just going to read a little bit of it. It says, in this final letter to Timothy, his son in the faith, Paul summarizes the essential elements of faithful Christian ministry based on the good news of Jesus. All believers, not just pastors like Timothy, can have an eternal impact on the world if they follow Paul's timeless advice. If you go on and read a little bit more after 2 Timothy 1, 7, um, it really explains a lot. Like he goes on and says, so do not be ashamed of the testimony about our Lord or of me, his prisoner. Rather, join with me in suffering for the gospel by the power of God. He has saved us and called us to a holy life, not because of anything we have done, but because of his own purpose and grace. This grace was given us in Christ Jesus before the beginning of time, but it has now been revealed through the appearing of our Savior Christ. Savior Christ Jesus, who has destroyed death and has brought life and immorality to light through the gospel. <sighs> Hooey, take a breath there. Amen. Quite literally had to take a breath. I'm still so congested. It's crazy. All right. Anyways, brave hope. Our brave hope 100% comes from Jesus Christ, from him walking this earth, teaching the disciples, suffering the way he did, um, crushing death, coming back, ascending back into heaven, leaving us the Holy Spirit. Like the more that we invest 
in him. And I'm pretty sure I've said this a lot during this series, but the more like we invest in our faith, the more that we invest in getting into the Bible and learning, like everything becomes stronger with us. And that inc includes hope. Like you have more hope. I definitely have like more hope than people around me. And it's because of Jesus, like, especially right now in this time and all the crazy, crazy things that have happened this year. Um, like you can just see how the devil is here on earth and impacting people and what's going on. And I still have hope because I have a savior that conquered the world. Um, and that's so important. So, okay. Um, this is my card. I end up bringing in a little bit of paint. I thought it was a little too white for, for my background. Uh, you know, cause some of the cards I covered up completely and as you see, I did use a lot of the stickers. Um, it was time. Goodness. I forgot that I had them. Uh, I got to remember that I have everything in the kit to use. <laughs> but I just bring in a little bit of yellow. I didn't like how I like, swiped it on there. So I ended up taking my finger to it or the paintbrush and just kind of, you know, giving it a little bit of a smeared look. And that's about it for this card. Um, I'll come in and date it and... Will be done, and then tomorrow we head to day 30, which is a glimpse of Eden. And I really like that card a lot. So, y'all, thank you so much for being here. Thanks for you know, those of you that have showed up and listened to my snotty voice, and I appreciate that. Um, I love you so much, God loves you. Um, I'm thankful for each and every single one of you, and I'll see you soon. Um, bless up, my friends, bless up. Mm -hmm.